Hey guys, welcome back to another Vlogmas video. Today I'm attempting to make the biggest craze on YouTube now, which is chocolate bombs. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Before we get started, I just wanted to give you a little rundown on what I had. I had this little um, dark chocolate cherry deli, I think it's called. I had marshmallows, I had chocolate mint, I had chocolate, hot chocolate, and I had this um, mocha latte Maxwell House, co Maxwell House coffee that I wanted to add to my chocolate bomb. So the first thing that we did was um, obviously prepare the area. So I got some wax paper and put it under the mold. And then what we did is we heated up the hot chocolate, not the hot chocolate, the uh, dark chocolate melts and we poured it evenly in each of the molds so that we could spread it evenly throughout and then what we did is once we made sure that everything all the mold was coated properly we emptied the excess chocolate to make sure that you know it wasn't too thick that it was perfectly for um, the mold to set properly The question for this video is, have you tried making these chocolate bombs? And if not, will you try to make it? Once that was done, we cleaned off the excess chocolate off the mold to make sure that it, the round edges were nice and clean so that when the mold, the chocolate came out of the mold, it came out nice and even as you will see here. It was really simple to remove from the mold. You basically just peel it back and it comes out easily. Oh yeah, we had to put it in the fridge for about 10 minutes. So that worked out perfectly and then after that, we ended up putting it together. If you see the pan there, the pan is for heating the molds, the chocolate molds up so that the two ends can um, combine as you will see us doing. But first we are filling the molds up with whatever um, stuff we wanted inside. We all wanted different things. As you can see here, some of us just wanted hot chocolate and marshmallows. Some of us wanted the mocha latte and the mints. And so that was the nice thing about it that we each could um, make it our own. So then once we put the filling inside the balls, we combined them and then we put it in the cupcake holders just to sit and wait until we were ready to do the milk. So I tried something new. I wanted to heat my milk in the kettle and we looked up to see if it could be done. It said it could, but it did not work. So it kept stopping. So I took it off the kettle, put it all over the stovetop in a pot and that worked out perfectly. Look at this. Look how satisfying this is, you guys. This is worth the entire work. It did take a long time to do. I'm not going to lie, but it was worth it. And surprisingly, you guys, it was not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. Every time I've seen people doing this, I was like, I don't know. This seems awful, awfully sweet, but it wasn't. So I was really happy about that. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe to the channel, to hit like, and to leave a comment to be entered into Vlogmas' giveaway. I'll see you guys again in a brand new video tomorrow.